we really needed to think about what does cloud look like for us moving forward? How do we make it enterprise grade? How do we do things thinking about security, consistency, automation? We were looking for a partner to help us and AWS basically introduced us. What we were trying to achieve wasn't just a technology program. It needed to take into account things like processes, people, maturity, cultural change, and they helped us frame what that might look like. The how was was unique for us, so the distributed agile approach, which is essentially we, you know teams in Sydney, teams in Melbourne, teams here. We took out some of our third party tools we were using and adopted some fairly green, fairly new AWS services. With the scent, where we framed a few principles around what does success look like for us and how are we consciously going to move towards it? And some of these things were make the decision to adopt cloud native. You built the rapport up front and you built that trust and then you could distribute out more effectively. And having a few things like your core um, scrum master or program manager here to keep us all connected and be that glue that drive that sort of drove the process, the tools, the dialogue. So Stacks gives us visibility into our environment around cost and compliance basically. And without that, it's almost like you're operating blind. You've got tools, so you've got the opportunity, but how you actually really get the value is by what you put around it to make sure you make it real and you drive the insights um, in your business. Seismic data is big data. It takes a lot of effort to capture it and then all the passing of that data and processing of it before you can use it. The whole processing piece around data, we've been able to totally change the way we do that. So now they can do data loads much faster, they can scale up their simulations. I've done, you know, sort of two years worth of simulations in a week. By doing cloud native, you talk about things like innovation, pace, speed, agility, the services you can un unlock, time to value. the team that you build around you, they need to be evangelists. So for one thing, you've got to understand your total cost on premise today, which is quite difficult to do for a lot of organisations. Like what, what is that application costing me? You know, we try to pick partners that we can have a long journey with and evolve, and that's what we're, we're doing at the moment. So we've built a platform, now we have to support that platform, evolve it to meet ongoing need, and so that partnership keep continuing to do that. We're probably just at the start of our journey in terms of unle unleashing the value and the potential, but you can see right now like the fact that we are multi-region and, you know, we can now support our international offices. We think for about 2019 we might have 15 um, AWS accounts and I think we're sitting at about 100 already.